Good morning, Cathedral families, and thank you so much for joining me for today's Children's Liturgy of the Word. Now, before we reflect on the scripture reading that is shared with us today, I want to tell you a little story. So back when I was studying to be a priest, our college had a softball team that I was on. And because we were living in Italy at the time, every once in a while, we would challenge the Italian softball team to a friendly competition. And you know, whenever we played that team, I was always kind of astounded at what would happen when the Italian team would go into the dugout at the end of the inning. You see, in between innings, they would snack on all kinds of junk food. They would have cakes and cookies and sweets and soda in their dugout. And I always thought to myself, it's kind of a, a weird thing to have when you're trying to compete when you're trying to be hydrated or stay nourished so that you can perform at your best possible level. And needless to say, we usually won those softball games. You know, I think that story kind of reminds me of the special feast that we celebrate today. Because today's feast is a celebration of the body and blood of Christ. And what we're reminded of is how much God wants to nourish us. God wants to feed us to make sure that we are performing at our best possible level, to make sure we are living the, our lives as the best version of ourselves. And so for us to maybe think about how God is feeding us, how God is helping us in our life. I know for some of you, for the younger ones who might be watching, Maybe you haven't received your First Communion yet, and that's okay. Certainly, what we're doing now is to prepare ourselves, our minds, and our hearts so that we are ready to receive Jesus in the Eucharist. But today, let us reflect on how God wants to feed and sustain us. This is a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when we drink from the cup that we ask God to bless, isn't that sharing in the blood of Christ? And when we eat the bread that we break, isn't that sharing in the body of Christ? By sharing in the same loaf of bread, we become one body, even though there are many of us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, I wanted to share that message from St. Paul today because I think it's really an important thing for us to reflect on. It's important to remember that as we receive Jesus in the sacrament of the Eucharist, that it is all about our connectedness. That God is trying to feed us and nourish us as a community. You know what I'm reminded of is that that phrase that used to be said, that you are what you eat. Think about it. That Italian softball team, they ate a lot of junk food. In many ways, we become what we receive and what we eat. That when we receive the Eucharist, Jesus' body and blood, we're not receiving junk food. We're receiving a great gift. We're receiving the grace of God's life in us to help us to live our own lives. And what's really important to remember are those words that St. Paul shared at the end of today's reading. That we share the one loaf of bread and we become one body, even though there are many of us. We become what we receive. And when we receive Jesus' body and blood, we become the body of Christ. I think that's very important for us to remember that when we go to communion, and the important word included in there is union. When we go to communion, we're not just receiving Jesus and then going off on our own. Never in our Catholic faith are we called to think that it's just me and God and forget the rest of the world. We are called to the same body. We are called to share in that divine life, each and every one of us, as members of Christ's body. And so yes, 
we receive that great gift and it feeds us. It feeds our soul and our spirit to sustain us. But we also become what we receive. We become one body in Christ. And so all those things that can so often divide us in this world, or maybe those times when we think we can just go it alone, those things start to fade away when we remember just how connected we are in Jesus. And just like when I was playing softball, I never could have done it, I never could have done a good job if I didn't have a great team with me. Just the same way, we need one another. We need to be able to support one another, to pray for one another, to help each other through our good works, through our works of service and charity. And so often, we need to be the ones who show to one another the face of Jesus. And so this week, maybe an opportunity to think about how when we receive Jesus, we become what we receive. We receive God's life, we receive his love, and we become a source of that life and that love for one another. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.